Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how to install graphical packages in an Ubuntu server 20.04 LTS. So let's get started. Downloading the Ubuntu server IOS image file from its official site and installing it only gives you the minimal installation. That means you can operate the server only using the command line or from its default console. No graphical windows are provided. Here I have recently downloaded the server's ISO image file and installed it as a virtual machine in Oracle PM VirtualBox. Currently, no graphical packages are installed on this server, so I can only give the standard input to the server using its console TTY1. I want to install the Genome desktop or the GUI packages so that I get the look and feel of the Ubuntu server graphical interfaces. Also, I feel easy and comfortable working in the server with its graphical user interface. First of all, let's log into the server with a standard user's username and password which was created during its installation. Then let's log in as root user so that we get all the privileges to run any valid Linux command. Alternatively, uh, you can run all the commands using sudo in the beginning. I hope you already know it. I press Ctrl plus L shortcut keys to clear the screen. Then run the command apt space update and percent and percent upgrade space hyphen Y to update the apt repositories. Again, clearing the screen, let's install our display manager Light DM. You can use other display managers as well, such as GDM. But Light DM is the most used in the latest release of several Ubuntu flavors. It may take some time to complete the installation depending your internet connection, speed, and hardware allocation to the virtual machine. It seems the installation is complete now. But we can see the two error messages in the last two lines that tell us connection failed. Let's clear the screen and try starting the service. As we can see, the service is failed to start and unit lightdm.service is not found in the system. It must have happened because of the interruption during the installation process. So let's clear the screen and reinstall the lightdm. Now press the down arrow key to choose the LightDM as the default display manager and hit enter. The installation of LightDM is complete now. Let's start the LightDM service. This time there is no issue and the service is started. Don't get surprised if the black screen disappears and a new graphical login screen appears. Enter the login password and hit enter. We get the plain blue screen on the background. It's because up until now we have just installed the display manager. We are yet to install the graphical packages. For further process of installing the graphical packages, Let's access the terminal and run the required commands. Click on activities and search for terminal on the search box. We can only see the Boebu terminal, but we expected to get the best terminal. Anyway, let's click on the Boebu terminal to open it. Unfortunately, it does not open. Also, let's try listing all the installed applications by clicking on the icon made of dots in square. Here too, we don't see the best terminal and the Baibu doesn't entertain. So how can we work on it? Don't worry, I have the solution. Just press Ctrl, Alt and F1 keys at the same time. It takes you to the virtual console that we were working on before the LightDM was started. Then install the task cell. Task cell is a Debian or Ubuntu tool that allows us to install tasks in a group. As we are going to install multiple packages for multiple graphical programs, TaskSail will install related programs with just one command. Now run TaskSail install Ubuntu-Desktop.
as you can see it's going to install 545 packages since it's downloading and installing several packages it may take several minutes wait until the installation progress is 100% completed okay the installation is complete now let's clear the screen and run the command systemctl space set dash default space graphical dot target this command will switch the server to run in a graphical user interface in the next boot then reboot the server now we can see the graphical login screen enter your password and hit enter here click on the next button a couple of times and click on done now we are also done we have successfully installed almost all the graphical packages for the basic programs before we wrap up let's verify if the best terminal is also installed and we can access it for this you just need to click on activities and type terminal on the source box click on the terminal it opens and we can run any valid command within it okay friends that's it for this video i hope the video was useful to you please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thanks for watching see you in other videos till then have a nice time goodbye